I'm Sean Pastuch with Flex Events HQ, and we're excited to bring you Flex in the City 2015. Workout number three for Flex in the City 2015 is 12963 of the couplet squat clean and burpees over the bar for the RX division, and deadlifts and burpees over the bar for the scale division. At three, two, one, go on the clean up your burpee workout for the RX division. You're either going to choose the female pair or the male pair to begin this workout. Once your first pairing has finished all their 12, 9, 6, 3 reps, so athlete one has done their 12, then athlete two has done their 12, athlete one has done their nine, athlete two has done their nine, and so on and so forth, we will switch the weights from the men's weight to the women's weight or from the women's weight to the men's weight, depending on how you strategize the workout. So, for this workout, athlete one on this team is going to be Rachel. Athlete two is going to be Anita. So, three, two, one, go. Rachel is now into her round of 12. So one, full squat clean. Two, good. And rep number 12, she's just completed her 12th squat clean. Barbell goes down. Rachel's now gonna do 12. Burpee over the bar. You're going to do your burpees parallel to the bar for the purpose of safety and space. Rachel's just completed her 12th burpee. It finishes with a jump over the bar. Now Anita's gonna come in and she's going to begin her round of 12. One, two, and 12. Good, now Anita's gonna drop the bar and begin her 12 burpees over the bar. One, and number 12. Good, now Rachel is going to cycle back in. She's gonna do her round of nine. While this is happening, the gentlemen are waiting patiently for their turn to attack the barbell. That's nine, Rachel puts the bar down. Burpees over the bar. And number one, that's number nine. Rachel tags out. Anita tags back in, you're good to go. You don't have to do it again. We'll continue doing that until the ladies have completed 12, nine, six, three each, at which time the gentlemen will begin by changing the weights. There's a 20 minute time cap for this workout for all four athletes to complete it. We expect some teams to finish and some teams not to. So the way we're gonna score this workout is either your time completed or we're gonna take the amount of reps not completed and add it to the 20 minute time cap of the workout. The movement standard for the squat cleans. Nita's gonna go ahead and show you. At the bottom of the squat, she's gonna have the bar on her chest, hips below the knees, and then she rises all the way up. Stands all the way tall at the top, hips open, knees open. For the squat cleans, we have a few variations, just like in the thruster, that are going to be acceptable. So the first variation is gonna be your general squat clean that you've already seen, full squat clean. Good. So you can put the barbell down. Your second variation is going to be a power clean to a front squat. Good. The third and final variation that we can think of is a deadlift to a hang clean to a front squat. Good. All three of those would be acceptable. And of course, you could hang squat clean as well. For the deadlifts in the scale division, you can tap and go, you can do singles. You can do this however you'd like. The standard for the deadlifts in the scale division is a good rep will look like this. Over, over grip, split grip, we don't care. Shoulders behind the barbell, knees and hips extended all the way at the top. Bring the bar back down and we're done. Sumo deadlifts are not acceptable. So Anita's gonna show you a sumo deadlift. It's a much shorter range of motion, we don't allow it. Anita's now gonna show you a few no reps on the deadlift. The first one we like to call the twerk when you keep your chest over the barbell the whole time. Okay, those will be no reps. The second rep would be that we don't lock the knees out at the top of the deadlift. So the chest is behind the bar, but the knees never fully open. A no rep on a squat clean would look like this where Anita might drop the bar a little bit early. She gets excited, hits her clean, stands up three quarters of the way, the barbell comes back down. We need you to finish and stand all the way up at the top before we're gonna count that rep. The standards for the burpees are going to be very, very straightforward. Your chest must touch the ground. Not your belly, your chest. So Anita's gonna show you a good burpee. All the way down. 
chest is on the floor, she comes back up, jumps over the bar. We're not concerned about you guys opening up your hips or clapping up at the top. Anita's now gonna show you a bad burpee where only her belly touches the floor. No rep. Now, in the case of a no rep, you can continue to do your reps on the other side of the bar. However, the number does not go up. So in regards to the burpee over the bar portion, we just need to see that both feet are off the ground at the same time. Anita can jump with both feet, or Anita can do the one foot, two foot jump.